So you would often hear the most seasoned React developers suggest using the spread operator to copy an array instead of assigning it to a new variable. This has to do with specific data types being reference types in JavaScript. This is the concept of mutability and immutability in JavaScript. So without further ado, let's dive deeper into it. The data assigned to a JavaScript variable can be of two types, the primitive type and the reference type. There is a difference in how JavaScript treats these two data types. To know how they are treated differently, let's understand the difference between primitive types and reference types. Primitive types are simple atomic pieces of data in JavaScript. Primitive types are always saved and accessed by the variable's value and not as a reference to an object. Reference types are not simple atomic values, but are objects that are made up of multiple properties assigned to them. They are stored as a reference in memory and not as independent values assigned to variables. There are six primitive types in JavaScript. Undefined, null, boolean, number, string, and symbol. There are three reference types in JavaScript, objects, arrays, and functions. How primitive types and reference types are stored in the memory is the basis of how they are different from each other. Let's look at a few examples and try to understand how they utilize memory differently. As I mentioned earlier, primitive types are stored as single atomic values assigned to variables in the memory. Let's see this with an example. I'll create a variable and assign it a value John. Now JavaScript would save this single atomic value in memory. Now if I create a new variable named 2 and assign it a value of the variable name, JavaScript is going to go ahead and create a new space in the memory and allocate the same value of the variable name and assign it to variable name 2. The new value assigned to variable name 2 is entirely separate from variable name and does not have any reference to it whatsoever. Reference values on the other hand are stored in the memory as reference objects instead of dedicated places in memory unlike the primitive types. Let's look at the following example to understand better how the reference types are saved in the memory by JavaScript. Let's just declare a variable called person which will contain an object containing the name and the age of the person. Now I'm going to go ahead and create another variable named person2 and assign the same person object to person2. This is where things start getting different as compared to primitive types. In this case, JavaScript will save the person2 object simply as a reference to person object. If you look at this image, you'll realize the JavaScript here is actually pointing to the same object in the memory. Though it has created a new variable as a value, the variable just is referring to the same person object that we created previously. Since we are now clear with primitive and reference types in JavaScript, we can easily understand the concept of mutability and immutability in JavaScript. Mutable is something that can be changed or added to, whereas immutable means something that cannot be changed or added. Primitive values in JavaScript cannot have anything added upon to them. They can only be reassigned and hence all primitive values in JavaScript are immutable. Let's see that with an example. Extending from our previous example of primitive types, let's print the value of both our variables that is the name and name2 to the console and see what we get. As expected, both the variables return the same value John. Now let's assign the value Do to the variable name 2 and again print the values of both the variables to the console. 
Now you see the value of only name2 was reassigned by the JavaScript to Doe, but the variable name did not change. This shows that JavaScript treats these two variables separately, although name2 was originally copied from variable name1. This proves that primitive values in JavaScript, in this case, strings are immutable. Let's try to replicate the same example for reference types as well. Picking up from the previous example, let's bring the value of both person and person2 objects to the console and see what we get. We see two objects printed to the console with the same properties. Now I will change one of the properties of the person2 object and print them to the console again. You see that the JavaScript has changed person as well as person2. This is because person2 object was created by referencing the person object. With reference types, JavaScript creates a reference to the same object and the object remains mutable. Since the object is mutable, it can be changed or new properties can be added to the same object. The spread operator was introduced in ES6 and lets you copy your object safely and creates a new instance of the object. I'll take the same person object and instead of assigning it directly to a variable this time, I'm going to use a spread operator to copy it. The spread operator can be used by prefixing three dots in front of the object you want to copy and encapsulate it using the literal object syntax. This way, JavaScript creates a new object and stores it in the variable person2. Let's change one of the properties of person2. I will change name to Doe. Now let's print both the properties to console and see what we get. You'll see this time we change the name property of the person2 object and not the person object. This is because person2 was created and saved as a new object using this prayer operator and not as a reference to the person object. So remember, whenever you're trying to copy a reference type, that is an object or an array, always use the spread operator. I hope this was insightful. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace.